database designing and building in clinical data management. Welcome back, everyone. In our journey through clinical data management, we have seen the importance of high-quality data. Today, we are going to talk about where all that data lives, databases. Specifically, we will discuss how databases are designed and built in the world of clinical data management. What is a database? A database is an organized collection of data. In clinical trials, databases hold all the data from a study, like patient information, treatment details, and outcome measures. They are designed to store, retrieve, and manage this data efficiently. Database Design Designing a database is a critical first step. This involves deciding how the data will be structured and organized. It's a bit like designing a filing system you need to know what you're storing and how you'll want to access it. Data Modeling A key part of database design is data modeling. This is the process of creating a model for how the data elements relate to each other. For example, patient data might be connected to their treatment data, which in turn might be linked to specific outcome data. Building the database Once the design is in place, the next step is building the database. This involves creating the structure in a database management system and implementing the designed model. Then, it's ready for data to be entered and stored. Database in Clinical Data Management In clinical data management, databases are vital. They store the valuable data collected during clinical trials, allowing it to be managed, analyzed, and eventually used to make important healthcare decisions. That's a basic introduction to database design and building. It's a complex topic but a crucial part of clinical data management. Join us next time as we continue to delve deeper.